today, AMD released two new CPUs, Ryzen 9000 price update, Nvidia is gearing up for their RTX 5000 release along with an update on their Titan card, and AMD's GPU destroying APU has been officially confirmed. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, AMD's new AM4 based CPUs announced at Computex are finally here. The Ryzen 9 5900 XT, which comes in at $349, and the Ryzen 7 5800 XT at $249. And I'll have affiliate links to these in the description below. They don't cost you anything more, and it helps the channel out. Now, as many of you know, I was extremely critical of their marketing of these, specifically the fact that they made them look way better than they actually are by using an RX 6600. GPU to compare, which basically makes the GPU the bottleneck, so even a 7800X3D would look similar. But with that said, the main reason I wanted to bring these up is the fact that AMD is still supporting their AM4 socket after eight years. That's right, it's coming up on a decade and AMD is still releasing new products for their old socket. Now, they obviously aren't groundbreaking performance or anything like that, but AMD knows that each new product released means that they have to support the platform for that much longer because you can't sell a new product and then stop supporting it the next week. I'm talking things like BIOS updates, any kind of security updates. I mean, there was a BIOS update not long ago for AM4 to stop the Zenbleed vulnerability. So new CPUs mean more updates for longer. And if you like updates and want to keep getting them on all the latest PC hardware news, make sure you subscribe to GamerMeld and click that bell icon. Next up for today, I have an update on pricing for AMD's next-gen Ryzen 9000 CPUs. These prices are coming from listings found at Best Buy and Newegg's own site, so they're likely the most accurate, though as always, AMD can change it at the last second. Either way, as you can see from Best Buy, the prices are higher than some of the most recent leaks, but they're still a bit cheaper than last gen. And given all the inflation since Ryzen 7000 launched, I have to say that it's still really good. Starting things off, the 9600X comes in at $279, which is $20 less than the 7600X. Next up is the 9700X, which is $40 cheaper than the 7700X at launch. Then the 9900X is a very nice $449, making it $100 less than current gen. And finally, we have the 9950X, and this one here is showing $599, which is still $100 less than current gen, but on Newegg, while all the other prices match Best Buy, the 9950X is showing up at $649. Hopefully Best Buy is right here, but like I said, given how much everything is going up, it's still nice to see at least some prices go down. And next up, it looks like Nvidia is gearing up for their RTX 5000 production as well as more info on the new Titan GPU. So first up, there was a recent report from the Chinese site UDM and later reported by Tweaktown. And according to this, Nvidia is significantly reducing the supply of their RTX 4000 cards, specifically their higher end GPUs. Now this seems to be due to multiple reasons, like Nvidia wanting to produce more AI accelerators, then there's a new story about a GDDR6X shortage set to constrain GP production starting in August. But there's also claims that Nvidia is preparing for their RTX 5000 launch. Basically, Nvidia doesn't want a situation where there are tons of current gen cards out there when they launch their next gen GPUs. Unfortunately, this is sounding more and more like a shortage is coming, which would mean prices could soon rise. No! With that said, I do have a quick update on Nvidia's next gen Titan card. If you remember, I recently discussed the fact that Copite 7 Kimmy, a very very well-known leaker just claimed that a Titan card based on Nvidia's Blackwell is in the works. Well, according to a new video from Red Gaming Tech, Nvidia is currently working on two Titan GPUs. Of course, both don't have to release, but believe it or not, he claims they both could. Either way, at least one of these is set to have the full 512-bit memory bus of the GB202 GPU. Remember a little while back, Nvidia's 5090 was rumored to come with a 512-bit bus, but the confusion was the fact that the full GPU is what comes with that, yet the 5090 would come with a cut down version of it, that being 448 bit. And that would also mean that the Titan card would likely come with a whopping 32 gigabytes of GDDR7. Basically, this bad boy is looking like one serious beast of a GPU. Unfortunately, that could also mean a wallet punching price. Time, as always, will tell. 
And lastly for today, we finally have official confirmation on AMD's upcoming Monster Ryzen APU. Remember, this is the beast that's rumored to come with a whopping 16 core CPU and then an iGPU with 40 CUs, which is a whopping 2,560 cores. That's significantly more cores than AMD's discrete RX 7600 XT. I'm talking 25% more cores here. So this absolute beast of an APU could implode the mid to low end discrete GPU market. Basically, it's kind of a big deal. And of course, I've personally confirmed its existence with one of my own sources, but now it's been confirmed by AMD themselves. In a new software update for Ryzen AI, the company added support for a few new APUs. First, we have a couple silicon revisions of their current Strix APUs. But then, when you look here, you can see it says STXH, which stands for Strix Halo, the codename AMD gave to that next-gen powerhouse. Though, if their recent leaks are right, AMD may be releasing quite a few of these. Of course, there's the high-end model with 40 CUs built on RDNA 3.5, but then according to Moore's Law is Dead, they have one with 32 CUs, one with 24 CUs or 32 at a lower frequency, and even one with 20 CUs, meaning AMD is wanting to pretty much own half of the discrete GPU market. Not only that, but this also confirms crack and Point, which is the code name that's already leaked to be a successor to Hawkpoint and essentially a competitor to Intel's upcoming Lunar Lake. Ultimately, AMD's got some big stuff coming. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for Andy's upcoming monster APU? Let me know what you think down in the description below. And if you liked the video, please make sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And as always, have a great day.